Hi, and welcome to The Aspiring Actor's Guide to New York. Working title. It's The Aspiring Actor's Guide to New York. Yeah. In this channel, we discuss what it's like to be an, an actor in New York City, how to do it. We drink wine, and we listen to my dogs pitter-patter around. Sometimes they make guest appearances on the couch back behind me. Oh, there's Quinn. Yeah, get those pillows, Quinn. You get them. Just ruin the, the decor that I set up for the background. Just throwing shit off the couch. It's almost spring. Happy end of winter. Winter is no longer coming. Suck it, Jon Snow. This is my, my springtime garb. Winter is rough in New York. I'm going to be performing the Buddy Holly story uh, at Harris Resort in Atlantic City. So if you're in the area, come on down. Do some gambling. And uh, come see me play Buddy in the Buddy Holly story. It'll be a good time. Yeah. Today we're talking about... Staying organized. As an actor, you're going to be going to a lot of auditions. And one thing that can help you be successful is staying organized. First, we're going to talk about calendars. In another video that I recorded, you may remember this guy right here. Click on it to watch it if you haven't seen it already. We talked about where to find auditions using what websites and what websites were really good at importing into a calendar. I really like to use Google Calendar because Google Calendar has a really nice interface telling me uh, when auditions are actually happening. Nice little breakdown of all of the auditions happening at once and you don't get the, the iCloud, uh, like everything overlapping if it's happening at the same time um, because they're always all happening at the same time, always. It's crazy. You're trying to be in six places at once. And Google Calendar is really helpful to, for me to know where I should go next. I like to color code my calendars. Red means I definitely have to go to that audition. Yellow means I would like to be seen at that audition, but it's not as important as red. And green means, eh, maybe it's geographically not where I want to be. Or I know I'm probably not going to get seen here. So I'm not going to put all my eggs into that basket. Eh, take it or leave it. Keeping track of the auditions you've already been to. This one is very important, and I don't think enough people do this. I have a Get Seen spreadsheet um, that I'll actually show you guys a little bit of. Um, I write down the date of the audition. I write down the name of the show. I write, write down the type of the audition, if it's an EPA, an ECC, uh, if it's an appointment, if it's an open call, if it's a callback. I write down uh, what I did. Did I read sides? Did I sing a song? Which song did I sing if I sang a song? Um, did I do a monologue? What monologue did I do if I did a monologue? Um, and then I write down what theater is for, um, who the monitor was, who the casting office is for, the, for them, uh, who, who was in the room, ITR, if you will. Some of you know what I'm talking about in that regard. And then I'll write any notes about, any notes about the audition, like how I feel it went, um, whether I got a callback in the room, uh, whether uh, I feel like they... The energy in the room was positive if I th thought that they liked me. Um, some, sometimes ju I just write nonsense stuff about, sometimes I just write, felt great about it. It was fine. It seemed like my song choice. I felt good about it, but I think, I don't think there's a role in it for me. <laughs> don't go in for shows that there's not a role in for you. Uh, other people like to, instead of making a get seen spreadsheet, they like to journal. If you are a person who journals already, this might be the way to go. You can create a, uh, a hard copy of uh, all of the auditions you go to. I like the get seen version because if I see a name that I think I recognize um, in my spreadsheet, I can use the find option to see if I have been in for them before and what song did I sing last time. Sometimes casting will call you in for a callback and they'll ask you to sing something different than you did last time. But if you don't write down what you did last time, you may have been to six other auditions between the initial appointment and the callback. So how do you know what you did? It's very important to keep track of all the auditions you go to. Yeah. Up next, we're going to talk about your audition book. If you don't already have an audition book, we'll do another video on how to build an audition book next week. So stay tuned. Here we go. Right here, this is my audition book. You see these little tabs? They're kind of torn to shreds now because I use this guy so much and it just comes in and out of my backpack. But everything is still legible. You can still read the names of the songs on the little tabs. They're in alphabetical order. I've got this little guy. It is a legend. 
of everything in my audition book. I've got them arranged by song, by composer, by show or artist, and then by year. If somebody goes, hey, what else can you do? What else do you have in your book? I can just give them my book. Some people don't like that, so um, try to read the room. If they say, what else do you have in your book, and you have something specifically that you think is perfect for the show other than what you just sang, just offer them that. And if they say no, then offer them the book so they can choose. Audition books, very important. It's your lifeblood as a musical theater performer when you're auditioning all the time. This one's fun, Receipt Pal. Uh, <laughs> every day that you audition and you buy food in between auditions, uh, you can write off that, uh, that meal, I think. I don't know, I actually haven't read Trump's new tax plan, so I'm not sure if that's still true. But you used to be able to write off every meal while you were auditioning. So uh, up next, this is a fun part for, uh, for those of you who like doing your taxes. So all of you, I'm assuming. Receipt Pal is a great way to, you can take pictures of all the receipts you get and uh, you can look through them uh, by date and they'll all be in your phone and then you can uh, put them in a spreadsheet later in the year when you're trying to make sure that you uh, are doing all your write-offs if you're doing an itemized deduction. As an actor, there's a lot that you can write off as of the year 2017. I don't know how much it's changed with the new tax plan, but we'll see. I may be doing a, a video later on uh, how to incorporate so you can write off more in your taxes. Not sure yet. Not sure if I'm going to do that, but we'll see. If you guys have any other useful tips that you use to stay organized, write in the comments below. Let me know what you're using. Uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video because maybe what you're using is better than what I'm using. Let's help each other out. A little give and take. Staying organized is, is a very important thing that I can always improve upon. Yeah. Write in the comments below if you want to do a meet and greet for the dogs. If you like this channel, subscribe. I'll be releasing a new video every Thursday at 3, 3 o'clock p.m., not a.m., because I'm not a crazy person. Uh, <laughs> Tune in next week when we discuss how to build your book. What is an audition book, and why do I need one? Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for coming out. See you in the trenches. Chase your dreams. Bye.